Wow, this is uh, today, the 23rd of June, Tuesday. Imagine how time flies, no? Uh, talaga nga pag sinabi nga, uh, when you are full of things to do, you're so busy, ay, ay talagang ewan ko nga ba, at uh, ang daming uh, gagawin. At, uh, and these three ladies that we, are, we invited are all friends. And they will share you a lot of things, a lot of things, especially about their goals, their dreams, how they came about, and also especially their advocacy. Imagine how they can uh, start a business together, how they can envision, and most especially about helping a lot of women. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Butch Bertolome na naman po ito sa isang... Nako, sobra na namang uh, B-U-K. Actually, it's actually B-O-K. Uh, dito lang po sa ating, uh, it's not really a show, but it's something like an advocacy. And what we tell people is that in this time of need, in this time of pandemia, what we're trying to say is just want to have, uh, you know, share our lives to enrich others. No, But before we go there, uh, let me just share with you something that I always love to do and this is something that uh, I tell people no I'd like to tell about a story and that story is about changing vision um, you know there was once a wealthy man who was bothered by severe eye pain so he consulted many physicians but none could treat his ache you know? <laughs> he approached a wise monk, renowned for his treating various illnesses. The monk carefully observed the man's eyes and offered a peculiar solution. The monk told the man to concentrate only on green color for a few weeks and avoid any other colors. The man was desperate to get rid of the pain and was determined ready to go to any extent just so he'll be cured. The wealthy man appointed a group of painters and purchased barrels of green paint and directed that every object his eyes was likely to fall to be painted green. After a few weeks, the monk came to visit the, mon the man to follow up on the man's progress. As the monk walked towards the man's room, the appointed painter poured a bucket of green paint on the monk. As the monk inquired for the reason for painting everything green, the wealthy man said that he was only following the monk's advice to look only at green. Hearing this, the monk laughed and said, if only you had purchased a pair of green spectacles worth just a few dollars you could have saved a large share of your fortune you cannot paint the world green so my friends what's the moral of the story let us change our vision and the world will appear accordingly ganda no uh, and um, you know before we go any further let me i like to call in our friends yan na ito na ho yung mga the ladies, the empowered ladies, and uh, mind you, this is the first time I'm going to uh, uh, have an easy and light chat with three empowered ladies. So without further ado, let me uh, call in uh, Miss Rina, Miss uh, Jeannie Havilosa. Also, uh, I'm looking for Miss Juan. Hello, Miss Juan. Where are you? Come in. Ayan na. Ayan! Teka, medyo baliktad to si Miss Jeannie. <laughs> Did I move my phone like this? No. We have to look like this. <laughs> I'm in your phone. You know, at, just... this, at the end of this show, uh, you'll be asked to uh, donate uh, boxes of salompas, you know, for all the snacks. <laughs> Hi, Mr. B! Hello! Kamusta po kayong lahat? Uh, Miss Hi! Uh, Jeannie and uh, uh, Chit, kamusta na? A long time no see. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Kamusta na po kayo? Mabuti naman po. Thank you. Thank you for bringing us to your show. 
Of Sabi course. ko na nga, yan ang, yan ang career mo talaga, sir. <laughs> ang career natin ay eh, na-lockdown, wala tayong magawa. So, imbis na nanonood tayo ng movie, eh, gumawa tayo ng something very light. no So, um, you know, this this BUK, as Chit has been asking, why BUK? Bakit BUK? Book, book, book. I said, uh, I think it's actually, uh, it all started, you know, about a month and eight days actually. Uh, and uh, it we, I just thought of getting in touch with some friends. You know, pag lockdown, you're isolated. And here you are, you're saying, how are my friends? You know, so nagkaroon ako ng biglang usapang kaibigan. And so the acronym came B-U-K. However, si yung ating friend na si Imelda, no? Imelda Dago, so, who we interviewed a couple of days ago. Wow, so empowered, I tell you. Uh, she said, ganito na lang, B-O-K. Di ba? So, What's up? What's up, Rina? What's uh, happening uh, with you? Ano na nangyayari? Keep us uh, updated. Uh, you might want to introduce yourself, no? Dami nating nanonood dito. And I'm sure a lot of your friends and your fans are watching. So, Rina? Me? Anything with food, that's me. So, I've been doing a lot of uh, R&D, meaning research and development with regards to food, trying different uh, cuisines. So I've been doing a lot of uh, cooking and baking. Wow, so nice. Alam nyo si Rina, I met her long, long time ago. I won't even say uh, how many decades. No? I was 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> we were young before, you know, like yes, the millennial. Uh, a lot of people have said, you know, but talaga ba millennial yan? Yeah, because she was, she's only 24 years old, but her... Uh, I think uh, her entrepreneurial mindset is 45 years old, you know. So, uh, alam mo si Rina has been doing a lot of R&D pagdating yan si R&D. Oh, si Miss Jeannie naman, how are you doing? What's up with you? I'm Filenial. I'm feeling like a Filenial. Pwede na rin. Yeah. But you know, um, it's really the period of um, living the sustainable lifestyle. So, it's uh, totally healthy. I've moved into a very um it's really living the sustainable lifestyle for me right now i do the yoga i'm very much into yoga uh, meditation eating healthy mostly vegetarian pescetarian and um it's been it's been good so in a way the lockdown can be used also for you know living healthy and really consciously choosing that path that's true uh alamo this pandemia can either turn you uh, lazy or can either turn you productive and sometimes you even realize na alam mo kagaya nitong ating kaibigan si Chit One eh uh, alam ko parating nagzo-zumba gat na <laughs> Chit sana zumba <laughs> ang hirap mo na ma-reach eh alam mo naman si Chit eh marami ng uh, busy busy ito so Chit what's up with you? Well this two are letting me manage our online store. So, ako yung assigned, ano, assigned seller. So, even during the, from a hundred days ago, uh, we three decided that we will keep our online store open. So, that's my assignment from my bosses, Jeannie and Rina. Yun. But Jeannie also does her part. She has a little, uh, Sari, I have a sari sari store. store. <laughs> you know why? The nice thing about about it, groups have come together, right, in areas. So uh, you you like to buy from your friends and the people you know. So here in my condo and in the area where I I live, I have a sari, eco sari sari store. I mean literally a sari sari store. So we replenish stocks uh, for the people. So I'm also selling, uh, following my yeah. bosses Rina and Chit. Oi <laughs> sauce. Super hyper local. Japan <laughs> <laughs> But you know, tell me one thing, ladies. Uh, we, we just had the story about uh, changing lives. You know, I mean, um, kumbaga, the color is green, but you don't have to paint the world green. Uh, how is it that, uh, ano ba yung mga values that you can say you remembered na when you were a child? Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, alam ko si Chit has some strong values that you picked up from when your father was around, right, Chit? 
Ah, oh, yes. So, syempre sa amin, well, one thing is, ano, no? Time. The value of time. Uh, bawal malate. Bawal sayangin ng oras. So, ang turo sa amin is to always be productive, to be useful. Uh, bawal, hindi naman bawal matulog, pero bawal maging idle. Yan. And that's the reason why you posted also uh, quite a uh, few days ago, Bawal ang Idol. <laughs> correct, correct, yes. Bawal. But you know, the thing is, uh, tung pandemia, anong, uh, anong reaction? Like for example, Rina, uh, what kind of values now that you realize that when you were a kid, uh, that you are now finding it so useful, especially with this lockdown? Like we weren't, uh, when we were young, we were, we were told never to be bored so we always had to find something to do whether it's reading a book learning how to cook knowing learning how to crochet and if you're gonna do it you do it well there's no such thing as mediocrity with my family so if you're gonna take up something whether it's a sport a hobby some craft better make sure you you do it well so that's how i am now and that's how how i also that's my benchmark also for my staff for our staff that's true. So, uh, si Jeannie naman, what values have you picked up uh, that you probably say, kagaya kahapon, yung sabi ni uh, Jen din, din galang ng uh, go-negosyo, uh, parating aga-aga daw, pinapag, pinepwe na, ano, uh, she's asked to memorize English words dahil daw ay, uh, ano ito, para matuto siya. Ikaw naman, Jeannie, what, what have you learned uh, in your uh, in your childhood that you can now say, yes, I've learned it the right way? I think it's really discipline. My dad was a very disciplined man. So we were up at a specific time, lunch, breakfast, dinner was always in a disciplined way. And even now I've come to follow his process of he exercised all the time. He was always into some kind of a spiritual practice. He was always trying to bring us back to nature. You know, mom and dad always brought us back to the provincia. Because know where you're from, sabi nila. So we go back to Bacolod and Iloilo. And when we're there, we go to the farms and into the, to the salt farms. So it's always coming to the na to nature part. So that two sides of discipline, I mean, my really discipline in everything you do, your life, your, your schedule during the day. Now we're during um, lockdown, you can sleep forever, right? But no, there has to be a discipline in your life. And back to nature. That's really what I think I brought back. Did it matter that you you say, sort of na mismo ang social media, na mismo yung going out, na mismo yung uh, a lot of people kasi had uh, like I myself, you know, the, immediately after the lockdown, few days after you start to react and say, wow, you get sort of claustrophobic, uh, you start missing, you know, yung mga ganon. May mga na miss pa kayo or something that you say, wow, this is something. Uh, for the next two weeks, I can relax, I can catch up. But then after the certain time, you started to creep in onto something. Did anybody of you feel that way? Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Rina first. Rina. Oh, I, mean, um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it when um, there was the lockdown. But what I missed most was um, my family because I, I didn't see my mom for three months. And... Um, visiting her. So as soon as GCQ came, I ran to her house and visited her. But I enjoyed actually the lockdown. I enjoyed because I live in the city in a condo and I enjoyed the peace and quiet. I enjoyed the fresh air. I enjoyed no honking of horns. So I did enjoy it. And I, I also find, found so much time to, to cook. So I became a kitchen diva. <laughs> so I enjoyed it. Started tinkering with uh, a lot of siguro, a lot of oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is healthy and how. But you know, one thing that I realize is that, like Paco Magsaysa, you all know Paco, I think uh, yeah. you are the first one naging, uh, who believed in his product, no? Yung yeah. carpet. <laughs> Ang product. Yeah, well, his products. Yeah, and, and sinasabi niya, number one is take care of your health, you know. Uh, yeah. uh, he was sharing, I don't know if you watched that, he was sharing that uh, when he was starting uh, Carmen's Best, he had a bout of leukemia. And, uh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Never thought, but it taught him a lesson, but he survived, you know. But yeah. that's one thing. Sabi niya, you can have all the business in the world, but if your health is really kaput, 
eh, delikado, di ba? So, um, what made you, this uh, ladies, uh, decide to go? What is in your in, in you that you saw common that you started uh, bonding as as partners, as business partners? Uh, ano ba yung nakita nyo sa, sa inyong sarili, kayo yung tatlo? <laughs> Well, these two go back a long way. Uh, Jeannie and Rina were classmates in grade school. Mm. And then Rina and I were in, in college. Well, she's younger, pero in college in, in UP. So, uh, ako na magsasabi, ha? yaman din lamang, ako yung pinaka, pinaka mature. Okay? <laughs> Natatawa sila, oh. Kita mo, That's mature. why we're giving you the stage. We're giving you the stage. Ito kasi... No. Dito, walang oh. mature. Immature lahat. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, no. I, I do give credit to these two partners of mine. Sila naman talaga yung nag-organize ng dinner na yun eh. Na, you know, we, we went for dinner. And then, uh, and then they said, what should we do the rest of our life? We were in midlife. So sabi ko, yun, uh, nag-start kami. Basta ang rule lang namin, when we start getting stressed, we will stop the business. Oh, your turn, ladies. Jeannie. Mm, Jeannie. I think we were in a point of our lives where we wanted to have more meaning than just going after like work and you know money, work, money, that kind of thing. We wanted to have more meaning and mm. also express the other parts of our, ourselves that we wanted to uh, help other people. No? So this is the reason why ECHO came about. That's why we were even playing with the acronyms and the whole thing was just slowly organically growing as we you know we'd meet up for dinners we'd make cuento we'd try to brainstorm and that's how it happened so organic it just popped up but but tell me why echo i mean uh, the first time i when you were telling me about echo store i said wow is it echoing or is it something alam mo kasi pag sinabi natin echo what what were those uh, words for your business that you started playing around, uh, Rina. Were there any special words uh, or acronym? Is this an acronym, right? Yeah, ECHO is an acronym actually for Environment, Community, Hope Organization. But as we progressed the hope, we started working with communities. So we were giving them hope by making the store like their test lab. So it also was a movement that we wanted people to copy. So, so since we are a social enterprise, we wanted to give inspiration to um, different, uh, the younger people on what they can do, uh, not just be money centered, but also to uh, involve the communities and the marginalized people in their businesses. So um, you started that business as what? Uh, you started it as uh, something for you to work on, not to be busy. Uh, tell me the initial uh, initial years. Uh, initial years, yeah, you started. How was it? Uh, did a lot of people really think, what's that? Ano yan? Uh, ganun ba yun? May mga, may mga nagsabing, hindi mm, namin maintindihan yung concept ninyo. <laughs> oh, a lot crazy. of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A oh. lot of them. A lot of them started as Ano yan? Parang you have a sari-sari store. But in COVID, ano bang essential? Diba sari-sari store? We were just kind of ahead, siguro. <laughs> when somebody said that sari-sari store, I was so angry. So, Ginny, talibang sinabi niya, sari-sari store. But you know, <laughs> it's, you know, you know who I'm talking about, right? But it's really a sari-sari store because Sari sari in communities that uh, that Jeannie and Rina and I met uh, when we were starting Echo. Yun. But I think so, also exciting was the idea that we were promoting something new. It was people were confused whether we were selling something or we were helping people. And what were we talking about? So they thought we were crazy. But I believe that as we tried to morph what we were doing, uh, we were really trying to be able to have a advocacy, uh, no, it's, it's a marketplace, but how do you bring the, uh, central to that, the whole advocacy of what ECHO means, which is environment, helping the health of oneself, mm -hmm. making sure the community is aligned with, uh, with the greater good, right, for the work, and specifically helping environment. Mm -hmm. 
So that's our, that was one way of doing it. Of you in uh, Benguet, and uh, I don't know where that place, this place is, the one on the right. Uh, Santa Rosa. We're all in Santa Rosa. Part of, yeah, individually, we're part of a movement called Slow Food. So we yeah. believe in the principles of uh, eating natural, uh, cooking the old way, not eating preserved or processed foods. Well, not too much of it, at least. And um, so every year we get together. So that's a slow food get together. When was that? That was a... Uh, Terra Madre. Terra Madre. Terra Madre. Terra Madre. Mm -hmm. So but did you ever figure out na na etong etong negosyo niyo you will be traveling to a lot of places uh, or you just said ah oh, we we'll just get all the things and we we'll sell it na lang here parang ala glorified sari actually sir actually we actually made this store because we wanted to age gracefully we wanted <laughs> one store and we didn't want to get stressed ayun that's what happened to us so we were all over the place uh, bin na binenta niyo <laughs> No, and I also wanted that store personally because I could get healthy food. That was my lifestyle already. So I wanted to make sure that I have a source of healthy food, right? And you wanted to help people. So it was really like part of our own personal DNAs. So that kind of morphed into the idea we were selling good products. And did you, did you ever discover a lot of people pala wanted this? Uh, yes. Did you ever realize that you stumbled on a, on a group na who was also looking for this kind of... Uh, something like a kind of business concept? Yes. Anong reaction well, mga tao? Wow. Para mga welcome, it's a welcome site, right? Actually, we started with, uh, with uh, a group of people also who were into what they called social enterprises. And people were saying, enterprise. And, you know, we said there has to be a mission and uh, kailangan hindi lang pera. Uh, tapos, ang dami na may mga kasabay nun. Yan yan sila, Messi Bessie, si Tio and Philo, uh, Rags, to Rich, uh, Rags, Rags to Riches. Mm -hmm. uh, marami kaming kasabay who were of the same mindset. But of course, they were, they were a little younger than we were, di ba? Mm -hmm. uh, so parang that was a wave, no? 2008, na everybody who put up a business na startup then, had the social mission. So, nauso na yung social enterprise. And then, belatedly, siguro in the last five years, everything green. You know, everything green, like uh, earth this, eco that, food that, ganon. Na, we don't mind because we wanted the, the idea to, to prosper and to echo, as you said, no? pardon the pun. But gusto talaga namin na dumami yung ganito. And, I just feel sad but happy that it had to take COVID to let everyone realize everything that we've been talking about for the last 12 years. It's kind I think of ironic. When, yeah. yeah, when we came, I think when we came into the scene, uh, Boots, it's like uh, everybody had, they wanted to do it, but they were doing it alone. And um, we kind of put it in a store, which became in a way a uh, platform for everybody that was doing something green. And so the community built around that and soon a lifestyle that we were all really pushing. And where it is right now is it's been expanded to everybody already doing it. So we like, at that time, remember Chit and Rina when we started, we were like, how many in one hand you can count the young social entrepreneurs? And we just happened to be the green one. So mm -hmm. the voice of the green social entrepreneurs became our stand. And that's what we really went out there because it was our lifestyle. I'd like to believe it was our mindset, our lifestyle, the DNA of the three of us. And right. United, talaga, we went for it. And um, that's why we were traveling because they realized, who are these noisy three people over there? <laughs> they're just so noisy and they don't care. And, you know, they're just doing weird stuff and they're having fun. But Jeannie, and then they realized that was it. <laughs> they brought us around. A lot of people would say you're too early ahead of your time or you're probably you would have would you have wanted to give up or change the concept in the middle because some no. people have said you know anybody i mean the healthy style or quote and unquote yung the way people are were eating during your time our time at that time when you were starting uh they were into all fast food all everything diba? and you started 
waking up like a voice in the wilderness and say, hey, you should do healthy, healthy eating. Uh, ganun, ba ang, ganun ba ang naging, ano nyo, naging uh, rally ninyo na, guys, you should start... Actually, we had to, if I may, you know, partners, if, if, we, if we sell something, we must believe in it. So, we told ourselves, teka, mag-vegetarian muna tayo. Nag-vegetarian kaming tatlo. <laughs> okay. Jeannie, matagal na because she's a yog, yoga, yogi, yoga teacher. and She made us do yoga, you know. Um, so we made her drink coffee. So meron kami mga exchange. We made her drink coffee without sugar. Okay. <laughs> I became a coffee addict actually because yeah. of that. So I love it. I love it. And but then, excuse me, good yeah. coffee. Good yeah. coffee. Good coffee. Very yeah. good. Okay. So, uh, Rina naman would concoct the recipes. Kasi syempre, uh, 12 years ago, <clears throat> Wala naman masyadong choices sa restaurant. So our cafe became our lab mm. where Rina would experiment with dressings. And then, whatever, there was a time she didn't come with us to Camarines and Jeannie and I came home. We were the food tasters. Sabi ko, naku, hindi ko to alam. Remember, we were in Naga, Jeannie. And, naku, Rina should be here kasi Rina's the one assigned talaga to tasting the food of the community. Ako, taste ng nung coffee. Si Jeannie, tiga taste ng iba, tsaka she takes care of the mga weaves, no? Like what she's wearing there in that, ano. Dito naman sa... Well, that was where... So, actually, it's best kung tatlo kaming pumupunta. And later, you'll see some of our photos in Tublay, Benguet, and in some other places na magkakasama kaming tatlo. Otherwise, I'm not the taster talaga. So we each have our own roles in the Echo Cafe and then in the Echo Store and in Great Women. So in other words, Chit, uh, para bang in order to be convincing, you have to convince yourself muna. In other words, yeah. yeah, of course, yes. You have to live it. How can, you, how can you pioneer new things if you don't believe in something? Because the moment an obstacle comes, you just fall and say, no more, no. We've just kept at it because... It's something we really believe in. It's part of our life. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what pioneers do in a way. They think we're crazy, right? But you have to kind of push the needle because it's good. And if we didn't push this needle and we did it together because each of us had a part of what we wanted to push, which is about a sustainable uh, lifestyle. Actually, the secret of Boots is Mahilig kami mag-travel. So, we found every excuse to go around the country and around the world. The first was when we won uh, the uh, business in development. in development. And it brought us to the Netherlands in the dead of winter. So, yeah, we were planning in the plane. Ganon. So, it was really fun. And then we would go on many more trips together and usually other people would send us. No? Yeah. Other people, other groups would, would get us to, to come along, to go. Sila, uh, there are places like Jeannie and Rina went to Kamigin. Hindi ako nakasama doon. Mm. And then Jeannie and Rina and I went naman to Iran. Hindi naman kasama si Jeannie. So there are times na dalawa lang sa amin. Pero pinakamasaya, pag tatlo kami, like when we were in Bohol, Remember, guys, in Bohol, in Tagbilaran, and then we had to take a bath using tabo. So, <laughs> with the spiders. <laughs> huh? With spiders. Because <laughs> boots, what people uh, don't know is that when we do our community work. Yeah, you, you, stayed, you stayed for quite a time in Hulo Sulu, huh? Uh, Imelda was telling me about yes. We stayed in Sulu for five days. Tapos... Uh, basta meron kami mga two out of three, three out of three, marami kaming biyahe uh, na pinapadala kami ng mga tao to train on coffee, to train on textile. Si Jeannie kasi, alam niya yung mga textile, uh, hibla pa lang, alam na niya kung patadyong yun, kung ano. I mean, it's it's like how she can memorize 13 letter yoga positions, you know? Because, because sinamin... she's, she's the culture vulture, so she knows all these tribes and all these weaves and uh, so we defer to her uh, with regards to Filipino culture. Pero maganda but that's no why it's, it's, it's nice because each of us plugs in something which adds depth kasi, di ba? Like if Rina looks at the food and the ingredients, I mean, I'll never think of how she's putting things together 
as she looks at what's available. Just like when she looks at her coffee, I wouldn't even know what pea berry or whatever is there. And when I see the textiles and the different kinds of uh, materials, what they're using it for and the ritual purpose. So we each really add on depth for whatever it is and have fun at the same time. That's important. You have to have fun. What you ladies have now is actually you contribute your own specialization, diba? Yeah. Rina is an R and D in food. Uh, Jeannie is on textile. Chit would be on marketing, how to you know strategize things, and uh, that's one thing that I think in partnership. Uh, because a lot of people have been telling, "Nako pag partners mahirap." Uh, what would you say would be your key? Uh, turning points or your lamp post why you all you know how many years na kayong business partners ngayon uh, chit uh, 12 13, 12 to 13 going, going 13. 13 13 they so, well pa lang oh yeah 12 oh. <laughs> okay sabi ni boss 12 sige 12 2008 no 20 oh, minus tama. 12 minus correct. 8 is 12 okay correct correct okay. <laughs> Anong key? For Rina, what, what would you say your, uh, what are the ingredients why you all ladies are staying as close as for the next oh, well, 12 years? And ano mga nakita mo? I think we all uh, brought in something different to the company. We all had our own, like you said, we all had our own specialties. Like, we defer to each other when it's not our core. So... Them, they don't make me pakilam when it's food. When it's coffee, we don't make pakilam chit. When it's weaves, we don't make pakilam genie because she knows her stuff. So I think we don't overlap roles. I think that's important. So we don't um, get in each other's way. So we divide the work very well, equally. And if, like, they love to talk and I don't like to talk. So it works well for me. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Si Jeannie naman. Oh, what, what would be the salient points of your uh, being partners? What do you think uh, is something that's as the golden key to your partnership? I think it's an openness to growth because where our own weaknesses are, and I'd say that for myself, like I didn't know retail before I met the two of them, and uh, that's really, that's not me, okay? And um, it's the openness to want to learn what the other strength is and to respect that, right? It's a, sometimes there's always a reason why people come together because there's growth that needs to happen if things are to be good. And I, I think we each have this sense of respect, understanding that there's a growth process in being together. There's a reason why we're being together. And more than ever, ever is that it's, there has to be fun as we move this forward. So we were very much aligned in that uh, in that space, I believe. Mm -mm. And, uh, how about the Would there be times where you disagree? Paano naman kayo? I'm sure it's not everything rosy. Huh? I mean, uh, how would it be when you start arguing? And uh, what are your uh, rules of engagement? Ika nga, we no? get a bottle of wine. Correct. <laughs> we get a we bottle fight of or wine. argue all the time. All the time. Always. Okay. All the but time. What's the solution? A bottle of wine. <laughs> and a good dinner. Exactly. Yeah, and then a dinner. That's it. That's you know? It. But you know what? Also, I uh, cheated Rina. I think also it's because when we're working, we're very clear about the work issues versus the friendship. So, you know, you you there's a friendship and there's work. So we make, we clarify everything in the business space. But then after that, argue and fight and argue. And people have seen us together and they thought we're fighting. But that's actually <laughs> normal. And then they go to dinner and they're still arguing. And then they go, this is really how the three of them are. They couldn't get the word in. <laughs> when, when you're managing a store, how many branches, by the way, does uh, Echo Store have now? Well, we had... We had almost 10 stores and then we cut back. But now after the pandemic, we only have one store open. So it's a big blow. But luckily, uh, we started our online store way before the pandemic. 
So I think that's the future. So we're going to keep that one store. Uh, the other malls, we don't know na kasi nobody knows. Also, our people can't even come to work, you know. So, so uh, we're still lucky. We're still fortunate that, uh, you know, we can we can get by. Kaya nga pati si Jeannie, may sari-sari store na, you know. <laughs> and then we get in touch with all our friends to sell our perishables. And, you know, Jeannie has a very wide network. That's a little different from my network and a little different from Rina's network. So it's times three. Yon. I th also, I think um, what's uh, our second brand, no? Great Women, and unlike Echo Store, we can sell the food because it's what everybody's looking for. But we have textiles and that's really a market that is just going to be next year, I think. So even that, we're pivoting into the app to be able to launch uh, a loyalty rewards app that can help women who are cooking. So again, we're still at the food space, but this time under the gender supporting women enterprises. It's still in a way related, but uh, I guess online is really the direction for both our brands. So uh, you were able to pivot uh, now that you are now analyzing with this COVID, a lot of, uh, a lot of entrepreneurs would say uh, either they either close down or if they're in the mall, they get out of the mall because of limitations. Uh, a lot of food uh, are now doing uh, community kitchen or what they call cloud kitchen. But um, how do you see now the concept of your new norm? Uh, what is the new norm for Echo Store? I think we will continue with our, we'll continue with our advocacy, pero iba nang format. Like, uh, we'll continue with our project with Philippine Commission on Women. We have a small foundation kasi called Ecosi. Um, and we work with uh, uh, Canada, uh, the government of Canada and Philippine Commission on Women. And we just met with the steering committee and the uh, project office, tuloy, pero webinars. So yeah. we don't have to physically go there, but we still have to continue to teach. So in our advocacy, we proceed, we continue. Ganon. Tapos uh, on the on the echo side, maraming tao who are asking us, uh, parang, parang as usual lang, uh, I have my honey, can you sell it in your store? So marami kami on board sa, sa platform namin ng mga ibang mga uh, small MSMEs na manufacturers. But you producers. know, I'm showing an, an early an early publication by Planters Bank, you know, and uh, you women are were featured in the front cover. Huh? Uh, yes. That was at the first year, the very first, first year of Echo Store. Yeah, uh, yeah, and we didn't even borrow money from them, but they just, <laughs> they just featured us. <clears throat> but maybe we should have borrowed before they yeah. got sold. Anyway, yeah. okay, you wanna show more pictures? Oh, hindi ba? Para bang uh, ang babata pa no, which is until now mga bata pa rin. Oh, yeah, bata pa rin naman. Oh. Oh, wala naman wala naman pinagbago ata no, hindi ba? Hindi ba dapat age gracefully? Kaya nga. But why you, you immediately chose green and then the tagline sustainable lifestyle. Wasn't that challenging? Not really. It just naturally came. I remember it was just a discussion. And the words just came out. Uh-huh. There's a doggy. Yeah. It just came out and it the sustainable lifestyle. You know, the word at that time was sustainable and we just put it there and then we were discussing. We didn't want it as ECO echo. We wanted it to echo like, you know, uh, with the ECHO. And then, um, was it Rina or Chito said, then why don't we put store? Because that's what we're going to be. And so it became that, echo store. And the lifestyle is what we wanted to do below. Sustainability was a key. Yeah, and I remember seeing your store. Your first store is in um, Santos? Serendra. 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 So, uh, sino talaga market ninyo that you were eyeing on in the beginning? Anong ang eco -store? Well, initially, because we were in Serendra, syempre maraming uh, expats, no? maraming young mothers and they would be the ones who would enter the store and look for mga <clears throat> eco-friendly items. Ganun. Kasi the eco-friendly uh, 
merchandise were already popular in Singapore, in Europe, ganon. Tapos dito, wala nga kami makita. You know, so uh, during that time, we had, uh, you know, we were the ones who had mga healthy food and all. So, karamihan expats and karamihan young mothers. Of course, those young mothers now, 12 years after, are middle-aged mothers na. But mm. we see a lot of the young uh, coming in because they're the ones who choose now about eco-friendly, no plastic, mga gano. And you know, Boots, when we started, we became like the hub where everybody who had the same mindset would go to support us, come to meet with us. And this was when we began to see it was not just the customers, but also uh, development program groups and um, NGOs. So it was really bringing together, uh, like, you know, as a central space, uh, people who had the same mindset. But there was never anything really like this, which is a store in a main uh, mall. I mean, there were little, little markets happening around and, you know, there was a little green movement previous to that and people doing herbs, right? But in a mall that Rem was, uh, that you could go to. Oh, I remember we were having a food uh, forum or some sort in the afternoon. There's a food wall. Yes, yes, that's right. Uh, fact, may mga pocket seminars kayo. Uh, different people would talk about food, about livelihood, di ba? That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, so we became a we hub. were even, yung ano, Jeannie, remember, we were, uh, we were contacted by Wuppertal University yes, to do yes. a seminar a on seminar. sustainable, sustainable, sustainable consumption, consumption and production. production. Back then, that was yeah. 20, 2012, I think. You know? yeah. So very early on. But where were you getting uh, all your stuff? I mean, if you look at the store, uh, wow, punong puno, no? I mean, there are a lot of things that you were selling uh, from fresh vegetables to, uh, uh, you know, all these bottled preserves. Where were you well, the vegetables, the vegetables uh, we get from our little farm in Amadeo, Cavite, because Ano eh, very perishable ng vegetables so dapat mabilis lang ang transport. And to this day, we do it. And uh, offline or outside the store, uh, like, you know, Jeannie will enjoy the avocados or uh, pechay or whatever. We would share uh, all that comes from the from the farm. And then the rest come from our, our friends, producers, our communities. You see, Echo Store at that point had a gap that we came in both because uh, there, well, there was a lot of micro producers who really didn't have a space to sell. And so by coming to Echo Store, we, we kind of told them it had to be clean, had to be a little more green without too much preservative. So we, we set certain standards for the small micro producers. And as we went around the country, we realized there's quite a lot who needed a, ma a Manila market. So that's why they would come and we would find them and they would come to us also or NGO groups would suggest them to us. So it all came together under that uh, first store. Auction or food did you come up in Echo Store, the first one that I... I am trying to remember what you, were, you, you came out with, Rina, the food. Oh, we... we <clears throat> the cafe was actually our lab. So whatever, we, whatever product we got from the communities, food products, we would try we would try to incorporate it into our cafe so if there was a jam or a jelly i'd make it into a dressing or i'd make it into a grilled sandwich if there is like a, a toyo or a tinapa bottled to your tinapa or bottled crab paste we'd make it into pasta or make it into so we always it, the best way because to tell people um how it tastes is for them to taste it in the cafe and then they get an idea how to use it, and then they buy it. So it was actually like we'd call a full circle. We help the community develop it. We make it into a food product in our cafe. Then we sell it in our store. And then people can repeat the whole thing in the whole experience in their house. Mm. I think rem I remember, Green uh, Chit, you were even uh, teaching all these uh, people uh, in the cooperatives in the neighborhood how to pack it well and even branding or even the way yeah. they. Should Label it, right? I mean, is that one of yes. the things I saw you doing it, right? Oh, oh. Kasi, yes. ano eh, 
you know, they 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 make things and then they don't know naman who their market is. So we teach them whether it's a or sometimes like in our in our uh, trip to Tublay Benguet, you know, this community they're all organic. They practice organic farming, and then they had so much green pepper. So sabi namin, hala, anong gagawin natin with all that green pepper? So Rina made green pepper jam. Yung ganon. Uh, ayan, uh, stop here, Boots. Uh, this is Miss Gina Lopez. No? Nung, yeah. nung nabubuhay pa siya, we were so lucky to have met mm. her. And she picked us out, the three of us. Pinatawag kami. And we joined her uh, trips to Benguet. Sa As Island mentors. Foundation. As mentors. So we went to this uh, community in Benguet that was all organic. So, you know, Rina taught them how to make bread because they had so much zucchini. Uh, Rina taught them how to make, uh, what was the other one, Rina? Spring rolls? Spring, uh, I made banana, banana heart burgers. Yes. Yon. Heart healthy. Yung puso ng saging, yung ginagawang ginata. Yes, yes. Oo. Oh, how Kasi was nga, diba, oh, oh. Kasi diba, when we were vegetarian, sabi namin, Rina, you have to come up with things that we can eat. Kasi you cannot eat tofu every day. Diba? You cannot eat salad every day. So Rina developed a mushroom burger. She developed a banana heart burger, uh, pechay soup. Uh, kung ano-ano. I think that went on for a whole year because we were eating whatever was in the farm. Oh, maraming eggplant. Oh, you have to make something about eggplant. Ganon. So, kung ano yung marami kami until we learned how to plant. Okay? Kasi yung farming, we just dove into it. Ganon. Tapos, ay, ang dami-dami nating, ano, holy week nga pala. So, pinamigay namin yung mga lettuce, ganyan. You know, you just go with the flow. You, there, there are no hard and fast rules. Kasi, pag tinanong ako, how many kilos do you get per hectare? I wouldn't know. But what I know is that we've been fed by the farm for the last, you know, 10 or so years. So, yan, kita mo kami with Gina Lopez. We're just, at first, the community wanted to serve us mga spaghetti, fried chicken. Sabi namin, no, you must honor your recipes. So, the next time, ayan na, may red rice, merong tinola na free-range chicken, may mga suman, may mga saging. And so, you know, hindi kasi alam ng mga tao sa probinsya na ang gusto natin, yung natural doon. Akala nila gusto natin, pagitin natin doon, spaghetti. I mean, we don't want to eat spaghetti in the, you know, in I the communities. No? This is uh, one direction that whenever we got into the community when we did product development, we were always shifting the mindset of all the micro uh, producers to look at what the market wants. I think this is really the key of our foundation when we, when we got in there. Because before, everybody would just help them with what they want to do and then leave them, right? I think we came in because we had a store. We knew what the market wanted. So we really shifted the way we were doing product development to make our micro say, hey, take a look at the market. And there are many markets. But right? I, there's a national market. There's oh, I think the challenge that you also did is... Uh, to, re, to uh, uplift the heirloom recipe. Yes. What provincia may heirloom recipe yan? I'm sure. Yes, that's the culture part. Yan, di ba? That's uh, the culture pride. The culture. But tell me, I, I like to deal more about the late Gina Lopez. What is her magic that people are so uh kumbaga they were they were they felt sad when when she left uh you know Ano yung, ano yung charisma ni Gina Lopez? Uh, you guys were close to her. She was fearless. Fearless. You know, I think it comes from her life experience of having been with, a, uh, with Ananda Marga and um, a whole life of a missionary in um, Africa. So when she came back here and realized she had the power to do it, and it was just a natural thing for her, for her love no, of um, people and the environment, she brought that unrelentless, um, it was like an unrelenting push where no matter what she wouldn't say, you cannot say no to Gina with what she believed in. And it was, thank God, what she believed in was all good. So mm -hmm. she was not afraid. She was just for whatever Mother Earth wanted. She was really a warrior in that space. She was into health. 
And so she, we were, so um, in a way, we were so um, lucky that we had a chance to work with her before she passed on. Agreed. Yeah. Actually, Gina used to come to Serendra. Yeah. And then she was the one I remember so well. I said, know. Throw that Take microwave up. oven. That is dangerous <laughs> to the health. Alam mo, she calls at midnight. She calls at midnight. Take note. Take that microwave oven out. Take out. Yeah, so I remember she would drive through. Wala pa siyang G stuff noon. And then a few years after, uh, she put up a, her own store in Rockwell called G stuff from all the communities that she'd be helping uh, virgin coconut oil, cacao, etc. But you know what happened, Boots? Mm. When she passed on, we adopted her two stores. Wow. So parang, so we carry G stuff. Ng marriage. Yeah. Yeah. So Part now we carry G stuff in in Echo in our online store. We help each other, her people, her uh, foundation. Uh, we help each other, paren. Even if Gina has passed and it's almost a year, uh, you know she really touched so many lives and she was so selfless. I mean, admirable, talaga. Right, right. Arabang, it's a legacy that she left and she. Uh, probably shared it with you, no? I mean, hinawahan kayo ng kanyang... Or... You know, we lived in one place, no? We, we stayed in one house in Baguio. Mm -hmm. And she was so simple. You know, we we slept in the same quarters. And ganun talaga ang community work kasi. So we were... You know, she didn't ask for any fancy hotel or whatever. Sabi sa amin, titira kami sa isang house ng University uh, of Cordilleras. And we were all there. No qualms. Pagdating ng pagkain, we eat the same food, you know? Wala you know, siyang... Think... I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go I ahead, think both... we, we, are, we are, in a way, we're all like her. It's just that she had a zeal and a steadfast... She, did, she wasn't afraid, you know? So the reason she really called the three of us and she kept saying, you need to be with me, you need to be with me. Like, we couldn't even say no. Like, it was so natural. So it was... It was like she added fire to already our existing fires. Because we already had it. We were pushing for green. We were trying to be healthy. And we had a store. We were selling. But Gina came in and really put the torch on us and said, let's do this together. And that's, I think, where the, the magic, which we, were, we managed to capture at least a year before she passed away, and which we felt so aligned to be able to say, yes, we'll take on G-Stuff. Because totally everything about G-Stuff and the products there is everything like what Echo Store believes in also. Is there is there a food that she left be, uh, as a legacy, uh, Rina? Food? Did she ever suggest a food that you came out with or you perfected or something that, that probably would be called as Gina's favorite? Was no, there? But, um, I can't remember, but she always talk, talked about eating clean, eating healthy, eating fresh. Organic. Eating organic. And... Our last meal with her, which was a month before she passed, we were able to enjoy like fresh tuna from one of the communities that she was mentoring. We ate fresh vegetables. We ate, everything was so fresh. Fresh salad with the fresh mangoes. Everything she served was prank katas from all the communities that she mentored. So that was really a nice lunch for us. What's her common, what is her, what is Gina's common expression? I mean, I'm sure you all have common expression, right? Uh, ano ang, ano mariremember mo? Kasi maraming ano yan eh. I mean, when people leave a legacy, you always remember probably like uh, rewinding a movie and say, you know, uh, para bang sinabi niyang, I have a dream. I mean, that's Martin Luther King, you know. Or uh, what is it that you often hear Gina saying? Sweetheart. <laughs> no, sweetheart. Kaya ba natin? Yeah. She, she had so many rallying calls. Um, Jeannie, she wanted you to sing with her always. Wind beneath I my wings. I believe I can fly. Yeah. <laughs> I believe you're flying. Yeah, what was her song for you? I believe I can fly. Yeah, and that's mute. That. I'm mute. Mute. <laughs> Teka, hindi ata na kamute. Mute. 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 Si sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Okay. No, si Gina yeah, had all these songs, and uh, 
I think it was always the mahirap gawin dito eh kasi you have to see it in action yung di ba? Uh, huwa! Yeah. Huwa! 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 Like that. <laughs> but she would so, always talk about she would always talk about us to other people so we were so uh, you know we really miss her. Uh -huh. Anyway. So. Yeah. so oh, it, baka you wanna look at the other pictures boots. Yeah. yeah. I I love this uh, picture here uh, with uh, Secretary Berna. So, uh, was this uh, when she is, uh, she's now at the, the tourism, right? Secretary. Yes. Or that mm -hmm. she was with, uh, I, I remembered, agri agriculture, uh, Chip? Yes. Yeah, she was with the Department of Agriculture. Yeah. And then, so, so, when was that, Jeannie? Uh, this was one of the markets called Artefino, where great women brought all our traditional textiles that we are helping weavers all around the country from the north to the south, developing the hand loom and natural fiber uh, weavings. So she uh, came to support us for this. Mm -hmm. so and she was also supportive of, of Slow Food. And she supported, uh, she continues, I think, to support Slow Food also. And um, she was instrumental in really pushing in uh, Italy, uh, one of the, uh, what is that? Uh, Turin, in Turin. You know Terra what is that? Madre. The Terra Madre. Madre, yeah. Yeah. When she was DA, no? Yeah. Would you say, Chet, that uh, what is life for, you know, uh, for the new, the new norm for tourism? I mean, how would you look at it? Uh, everybody would say, parang matatagalan, but, uh, you know, uh, and, and it's really sad to say that uh, Secretary Berna was uh, was angry because when Boracay was about to open, something unfortunate happened. Anong, anong assessment mo ngayon sa tourism? Um, is this something well, that years? It will, it will have to wait a while, but what we can do is uh, when, when it's safe, we can do domestic tourism. But domestic tourism, being mindful of... Uh, health measures and all that. Like, we will continue to do farm tourism. I mean, I can invite you to the farm, pero you don't have to be, di ba pwedeng mag-gather ang five or ten people, but not more than that. So, no mass gatherings, but I think it's important to still people, to, to still bring people to the farms because unless you can eat that leaf, uh, that lettuce growing out of the ground, you will not be convinced how sweet organic vegetables are. So I still want people to experience that or until you can pick your own coffee, pick your own coffee fruits. That is an experience that you cannot do virtually. So there will still be some things. Or siguro pawalan mo dyan limang tao in a one hectare farm. Siguro naman, that's enough social distancing. So it will morph to that. For now, puro webinar. But it will morph to that. I'm very... Uh, optimistic that you know you cannot contain people in the city this balik provincia is wonderful then people will start appreciating what's out there because the country is so beautiful and all of them are nakasiksik here in small you know condos when they can go out there and plant and 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 do uh and commune with nature you know? True. but again we using the platform you know alamo like for example now the platform is uh, technology like all this Zoom, all these uh, webinars, uh, siguro something can be done to feed the minds of people while they're at home and, you know, like cherish uh, those places that they can go to, diba? Uh, show pictures or or probably... Fiber travel. Travel, virtual travel. Fiber, yeah. Para bang... I think we should use the, the Zoom and all these things when it comes to tourism as a marketing tool to, and an information tool to be able to bring out more unique things about that space. And not just because you can go to the beach, but no, because in that area there is a historical or a cultural something, and this is the food that's heritage. And perhaps a parallel to that is create standards by which we can now develop our people on the ground to follow standards with regards to heritage food. So there's like a pre-work before the actual experience can be done, which is, I That's think, we, we could do now. We yeah. could do that yeah. now. Good so, idea, Jeannie. 
yeah because it's, it's helping cultural tourism eh? you don't just sell a place you have to sell the essence and the story of the place even the food right so that's why we talk slow food we talk heritage food so we need to sell our spaces from a perspective of culture like the same as our textiles are there what's the story of the textiles we can do this now while they're not yet going there so when they go there we've opened the markets already for them to go to this restaurant there you know that's what i think we should be doing if we were in the uh, doing um tourism related work no but because it's helping communities eh? yeah. and domestic tourism is going to be the next direction so let's prepare our small communities for this this is the challenge that we all need to face and we all need to gather uh, our heads so that rather than wait for the physical time to be there, people would probably make a, a bucket list and say, okay, this is my bucket list and this is where I'll go. You know, I mean, a lot of people would want, young people at that. Uh, para bang, di ba? And, uh, Maybe we should do that with our foundation. Rina will teach the heritage food and then we can talk about the space. And then Chit will make sure that everything in that area is consolidated. To, you know what I mean? I think we can do that. Because uh, we have to do something different. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. We're actually... Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do we're it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. That's it. Next month. Go. Go. <laughs> All right. We're going to do it. Okay. Uh, I, you know, what's, what's this picture? You're... You're, you look so happy, uh, Jeannie's happy, and I see a personality around that's very familiar. Tell me about this occasion, Rina. Um, I think that was the launch of uh, the best of v B Call. That's why VP Len is there in the table. Mm -hmm. And we were sampling um, B Call food in the Margarita's restaurant in Grace Park, but it was cooked by Rica Buena Flor. Who mm. um, all the big call uh, delicacies like uh, laing and uh, their sausages, kini, basta it was masarap. That's why we're happy because it's food. We're happy. <laughs> <laughs> we ate so much. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I, I don't need to explain that. <laughs> it looks like uh, you were so happy, except, siguro, baka manghang lang, you know. Uh, so, Ito naman, uh, with our ethnic uh, sisters there, what, what, what is this occasion? Um, uh, this, is, uh, this is the, well, the AWEN. We're members of the ASEAN Women Entrepreneurs Network. So uh, we asked uh, BP Lenny to come and meet our ASEAN counterparts. So we have people from, itong sa left side, that's Indonesia, Brunei. And then uh, beside uh, beside genies from Myanmar, and then uh, dun sa babaren, we we got very active in the region. So we have a lot of ASEAN friends. Uh, we've gone to Myanmar. We've gone to Laos, Vietnam, Laos, Vietnam, Thai. I think uh, the only place that we probably ako na complete ko na because I recently went to Brunei. I think you guys have gone to everywhere. Completed. Yeah, completed also. Me, I haven't gone to Brunei. Okay, so Brunei na lang si Rina. And then we're, okay. all, we're all done. We're all set, yeah. yeah. Ladies, let okay. me ask you, where do you get your energy in traveling? From Gobi! Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> From food! <laughs> we're addicted. We're addicted to new things. You to know, culture. Actually, actually I seriously, I'm so Ano eh? women together in one in one community okay uh, before kasi i would not even know how to greet chit and say good morning she will say good evening i say wow what what world are you in or rina or genie so sabi ko wow at least this lockdown i'll take advantage of it <laughs> you're so yes. smart <laughs> oh oh very smart because there's a time talaga you asked me to come on board and I was, I think, in Bangkok, which isn't too bad, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I said, uh, wow, what a complimentary. She said that uh, you cannot say no to me. Yes, you will never say no to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like in the middle of things. And I, okay, sit down and we have a Facebook live session. Okay, sir. Yes. <laughs> but really, Boots, we want to thank you, you know, every time. Every time there's a little gusot or whatever uh, in our relationships with other partners, 
uh, you come and help us. So I really want to, on behalf of Jeannie and Rina, I want to thank you and Linda for always being there. And you've met some of our wonderful partners around the country. And thank you for always helping us and guiding us. Thank you. Thank oh. you, Boots. Uh, one thing I learned, actually, you brought me to Benguet and I realized what how coffee beans are being picked by hand. And uh, until now, I cannot... Uh, I really thought uh, coffee beans are... Uh, you can pick it from a plain ground. But, you know, it's bean. And then you taught me how to drink coffee, uh, finish it to the last drop because beans <laughs> for every cup. My gosh. <laughs> I see people not finishing their coffee. I always tell them the story of conscientia de you know. Uh, sasabihin ko, alam mo ba, apat na 45 times nag-risk yung mga tao sa iyo. But <laughs> kape, di ba? Eh, eh alam mo yeah. yung eh, no? Yung alam mo naman si Chit eh, bilhin ba ko dyan? You know, I I I must be thankful ah. Chit is one person uh who I wanted to have, you know, somebody interview her, but, you know, she would be sh so shy. Alam ko ang sasabihin niya, Butch, pag titimplan na lang kitang kape, ikaw ang humarap dyan sa radio interview na yan. Lalong-lalo na yung kaibigan nating Carl Balita. Nako! <laughs> eh, hindi ko na mapigilan ngayon. She's talking everywhere, in every corner of the world. Uh, you were also in Africa, Chit. I saw a picture yes. in Africa, were you? No, because ang slow food, uh, merong slow food council, and uh, ano, they tasked me with taking care of Southeast Asia. So every year we meet in different places, except for this year, we just met virtually. But uh, we, be, we, went to, uh, uh, we went to Kenya. So we met the African farmers na pareho lang dito sa atin, you know. Uh, this one is in Tublay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, tublay na naman yan, mga, kita mo, mga organic agricultural program, ganun. Uh, the other photo I think I must have sent you is the one of slow food, uh, slow food meetings. Yun. Mm -hmm. So, when we can, the three of us go to the slow food Terra Madre. Uh, the last time the these one. two came with me was in 2016. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So, uh... Grabe ang biyahe nyo. Have you tracked down the mileage or where the, probably uh, put pins on the map of the globe where you have been? Oh my gosh. You know, no, yes. tal I actually did. Yes. I actually I was gifted with a map and then with map pins. Yeah. Tapos ilalagay ko where I've been. Uh -huh. eh, 48 lang yung laman ng map pins. <laughs> 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 I have to show it to you. And then I bought, I have another map where you scratch the man where you've been. So it's something to do, you know. Like see, Jeannie, she went to she went to Jordan ahead of us pa. Where else did you go, Jeannie? That's kind of Mexico. like Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Like the, yeah. See Jordan. Luna went to Iran. Iran. We showed you a photo with snow pa in Iran. Mm. You know, ladies did come up into an encounter where you almost got stuck in a place where you're there and you know you never knew what would happen and uh, probably say why god ano kaya nangyari dito baka it's just like getting locked down i mean we have friends actually in cebu and living in antipolo but locked down for the last uh, three months did you ever experience that way na lock uh -huh. na, or you probably got sick or uh, you just ex you didn't expect what what to expect. <laughs> ganon. May nangyari ba si ganon? Na challenging yung trip ninyo? Uh, when we went to Sulu, <laughs> when we went to Sulu, uh, we didn't know if we were going to go home that night, the next night, or when. Ganon. But you just, as Jeannie would say, go with the flow. Uh, and then... Uh, I guess when we travel alone, no? Pero pag kaming tatlo, you know, it's, it's like we went to Italy together, we went to Greece together, and then around the country, yun ang pinakamasasaya namin kwento. Because we always ask each other at night, why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Tawa, alam nila. Kasi sometimes, di namin alam, ah, 
the best is when I will not name the province. Uh, they sabi namin, di ba, we forget things with wine. So sabi namin, uy, meron yatang wine. <laughs> Tapos, nangyari? Tapos, uh, yung wine nakita namin was uh, a different oh, kind of wine. The priest's uh, wine. <laughs> The oh, oh, wine. Mompo. 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 So, oh. <laughs> hindi namin mainom. Yun. So, okay naman kami sa wine. Any wine, except mompo pala. Yun. <laughs> so, may mga ganun kami experience or like Jeannie and I were picked up by someone, a host, and said, <laughs> I'm going to take you to a hotel and I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to move you out of that hotel. Sumama so, naman kami ni Jeannie. Pagdating... <laughs> Pagdating do sa hotel, kung saan kami nilipat, sabi ko, Jimmy, why are we doing this to ourselves? <laughs> no, I have, I have to tell you, when Rina and I were in Kamigin, okay, oh, yeah. so we were yeah. helping this community and I, we were in the, you know, we agreed to stay in that, in the place where, oh, you know, they put all government people, you know, so we went there. <laughs> and we had to take a shower at the end. And the room, Rina and I were bumping into each other in the room. Then I, I crawled into the bathroom and then with a cabo and then the door couldn't close because that's how small it was. I was oh. pouring water. I said, Rina, why are we doing this? <laughs> and the water from the towel was like, I said, why do we do this? Seriously. <laughs> but you know, Boots, I have to say, <laughs> What is so fulfilling is when the people come yes. to you and say, Ma'am, tinuruan mo kami nito. Nagpunta ka dun sa amin. You know, yes. like these people on the right, the people from Tublay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they were the ones who were serving us cheese rolls. Sabi namin, anong cheese rolls? Wala naman kayong cheese dito. So sabi namin, kailangan mga suman, mga ganyan. Oh my gosh, we gave them a few months, no? Guys, we gave them a few months and then they showed us their cafe with so much pride. I mean, that feeling is priceless. Another thing is mo, also... Yeah, how, how you change lives yeah. with all our talking and talking, ganyan, and showing them, and Rina teaching them how to cook, and, and, and they show you... Sometimes you don't even know... There, there. Yeah. And sometimes you don't even know who you're talking to that you're affecting. Because, you know, we've gone to trade fairs, in the national trade fairs, that's Chit, myself, and Rina. And out of the blue, somebody's going to shout, Mom Jenny! Mom Chit! Mom Rina! And then they come, and then they, and you're saying, wait, 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 where did I meet this person? Then you realize that as you're sharing whatever you thought you had in your brain there, sharing with the communities, you never really know who you can touch and can really change their life down the years, huh? So but, on, until now, it's so nice to out of the blue, you have this stranger. Sometimes you forget who they are. They're coming because they're so excited to say, Mom Jenny, alam niyo pa ganito ganito yung text namin, ganito ganito. So it's, it's a fulfillment, I think, at the end of uh, what our journey as, as Echo Store. It's really the fulfillment we get from this. I think what you are doing now is like you're like a social entrepreneur. You know, you're trying to create change. Uh, sometimes it's difficult, yeah. It's so difficult. It's physically tiring, but again, you you create uh, you, you matter lives. I mean, you you change, no? Sometimes sabi mo parati siya sabi niya what are, what are we here for? But sometimes you keep talking and talking, but you little did you know na may yeah. may mga tao jan na nakakaintindi. Misa you doubt whether naka naintindi ang kalayan nila ang pinagsasabi ko, <laughs> you know? Probably yung communication, yung because of the dialect. Uh, but sometimes people are scared or probably afraid to approach us because siguro sabi nila, ay naku, celebrity yan eh. Kasi lalo na yan si Miss Juan. Naku, parat. Oh, oh. Yan, you know. May mga ganun ba na, ma'am, alam nyo, hindi ko ang makapaniwala that you are talking to me and you are really in front of me. May mga ganun ba situation na kala namin, ma'am, Social na social kayo eh. Ganun. Autograph pa. May magpapa-autograph sa kanya. <laughs> Oha, ang galing. So, ano feeling mo naman? Feeling, uh, feeling celebrity ka na ngayon? Si Chit. Si Chit, Chit laging may nagpapa-autograph sa kanya. Saan? Kung saan-saan. Pa-picture. Ano, I think some people just want that because it's a proof that 
uh, they met us and that their their thing is going to have a market. Because, you know, Boots, when we go around, we don't just talk and then leave them. We commit. So like Jeannie, she was in Tublai uh, a few weeks before lockdown. I mean, it's it. You're going to buy all the coffee here, blah, blah, blah. Sabi ko, oh, sige, sige, ano na nga, magdala ka. She packed her car with coffee and all that. And then the other day, I got a call, ma'am, yun pong mga kausap nyo, uh, ready na yung mga coffee. We have to, uh, you know, stand by our word. So when we say we're going to buy it, we're going to buy it. You know, so, we're also nangyayari. the market. We are the market also, you know. So everywhere we go, we're always on the lookout for whatever we can sell at Echo Store or at Great Women. And I think it's important that when, when, you know, when we go there, the connection is that. They know that. And that's why I think Boots, what is Boots here? Pa? Baka we got left behind, Jeannie. Like, <laughs> like Bora Claudio. I have what? to tell you, Boots. You know, can I, can I just tell him? Because he might close the show. Eh? Uh, Jeannie and I were invited to a radio program. Okay? <laughs> And then the host, like you, sabi ng yeah. host, ah, sandali lang, I need to go to the comfort room. So sabi namin ni Jeannie, ah, sige, okay. Alam mo ba, bumalik the yung host, show. hala, kamontik na niyang malus yung kanyang program kasi the yeah, two of left, us just alone. went. We just went talking and talking and talking and talking. Guest lang kami nun. Guest lang kami. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, kung baka, weather, weather lang talaga. Siguro, baka nawala na ng trabaho yung host niyo. Siguro. <laughs> No, hindi na kami na-invite ulit sa program na yun. Crap! <laughs> sa listahan ng ano yan, ang producer, get out, get out of this lady's way because mawawak <laughs> trabaho dito, hindi ba? So, uh, no, but, but I also asked them to uh, si Jeannie at si Rina. O oh, yan, ano ba yan? Cordilleras. O, oh. oh, meron kayong uh, future of the of farm to fork. Uh, yan ang mga ginagawa nyo na ngayon. So you have been doing a lot of webinars now, uh, uh, ladies. Yeah, uh, Jeannie, um, ako, uh, si Rina, ano, very hard to get yan kasi parati siyang may ginagawa daw and all. So ayaw niya pang mag-webinar. But I think today is her debut. So she, yeah. we will see more more of her. Yeah. Oh, kasi we're gonna do heritage me. food, Rina. We're gonna do heritage food, remember? Rina yeah. will have to do that. So I must congratulate you because, uh, you know, I, I, I really thought Rina would not uh, come to uh, the show because uh, as early as nine in the morning, uh, uh, it has been telling me, you're stressing oh. I said, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I got no, because <laughs> Because Rina only does private, ano, private Zoom sessions. Kaya, sir, talagang da dapat mong malaman ikaw lang nakapagpa-oo dyan. Hmm. Oo, oh, alam ko, hindi naman ako hindi ni Rina. Alam mo naman eh. <laughs> but uh, kaya nga ano, nag-show up siya, wow, kala ko, ano, <laughs> kapagalitan niya ako. But you know, we're all doing... We're all doing this to enrich other lives, you know. I mean, uh, alam mo ngayon kasi ngayon, mga pandemya ngayon. Ang dami kasing na nagkakaroon ng depression. A lot of a lot of people have been asking, what are we going to do? What is life? Uh, what's the entrepreneur's life nowadays? Some people would say, I'd rather close my shop rather than lose or bleed money. Uh, some people naman would say, keep your money because you don't know how long this will last, you know. But again, we're just trying to create positive aura. We're trying to rally people. We're not promising anything, but you're just sharing how good life is to you. Di ba? Ganon? And, and if I may, Boots, no? like, parati namin pinag-uusapan tatlo, sometimes you don't know that what you know as common, parang, oh, alam na namin yan, to somebody, it might mean the difference between having a business fold up or continuing a business. Na na-share mo lang. Kaya never, never discount or never, never think that your ideas are too small or too commonplace because there's always a learning. I mean, tayo rin, we learn every day, di ba? So may mga tao na marinig lang, oo nga, no? Like sabi nila, zucchini, ginawang tinapay, pinakita ni Rina. So, 
Ngayon, meron na silang zucchini bread. You know, it's, it's, sometimes we don't know that something so simple to us could mean the world to other people. So I think it's about sharing and not, not giving up and not giving up on, on helping people. That's all. Well, uh, I, won't, I won't prolong you, but I'd like you to give me some, uh, at least that long tips for each one of you. Like Rina is into food, uh, Jeannie is into textile, Chit is into strategy. What can you now give as an advice to a lot of uh, women, especially women? Alam mo, kayo women are the, the men of the house, eh, you know? Kumbaga, mm -hmm. sa mga kaibigan ko lalaki, alam mo, tayo dapat na nakapalda. Sila yung mga women na mga naka... <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of women who are now who are multitasking. There are now a lot of women looking for uh, businesses, selling online. Uh, what are the tips? Like Rina, what, what would be the three things that you should now advise for people who want to go online and selling food? Because many people are now scared. Now, I don't want to order online from somebody I don't even know because of food safety. Uh, we have our friend, uh, si, ano, si Pauline Goriseta. No? Uh, she just posted, uh, she got sick a few days ago because of the strawberry that she got from Baguio because it was, I think, sprayed with something like to look fresh. So what are the things, Rina, that you can now advise? I, I like to quote what Gina always says. No, She says that there's no reason for any Filipino to be poor. Um, don't take things for granted because we're always looking at, um, at an example that we can't, we can't do. Actually, you just look around you, look at um, something in your, in your community, in what you plan, and then be creative, innovate, innovate so it's different. So um, I, I want to tell the women, especially the women, you know, um, don't be afraid to try something that's uh, local, but innovate it so that people, the market will appreciate it. Don't keep copying um what your neighbor has then it becomes common area be innovative always try to do something different something original or put a twist into local food me i'll talk on the perspective of food no whether mm. it's presentation whether it's a different flavor whether it's a a different take on a, a certain product <clears throat> they have to be creative and not copy so that's my advice to women who want to start the business. Okay. Would, they, would, would you say, Rina, that uh, they would need uh, so much money or just a few hundred probably to start with? Um, I think it's always good to start small. Uh -uh. It's always good to start small so you can always um, – Refeed or redo things. You can always start small, try something, let people try it first, and be open <laughs> to to the comments. But you can keep improving your product. Don't invest right away big money, and then after you're not even sure, like how people are gonna um, accept it. And also, always believe in the product you're selling. Don't sell it because there's plenty money in it. It's actually something that you should be enjoying. You like to eat that you like to let people, you're proud of what you're doing, no? So always do uh, do something you believe in. And probably when you market it, you know, you don't market it as in, let let people test it muna, I mean, diba? Uh, and get opinions. You, you just don't sell and sell and produce yeah. more. Yeah. How about, how about uh, Jeannie, uh, something on textile uh, or something like on your on your field, what would you advise? What if you'd allow me to go beyond textile and speak about great women because it is the gender platform, uh, mm -hmm. our second brand as a group, no? And um, what we've realized is that the strength of the women, especially the micro producers, come because they are part of a supply chain. It, mm -hmm. And then a supply chain that can integrate towards a market, towards helping product development, helping them have financial literacy, making them understand other markets, so Great Women has been positioned in a way for this, in that it becomes a platform. Right now we're pivoting. So we've done the full supply chain of textiles, 
But it has not also stopped us when working with women in coffee under Echo Store, for example, that we try to integrate this together. So under the textiles, the women that are there must link to the designers, must link to, um, to us in a way. We managed to bring them to market because of this. But we're pivoting into the online, specific to the Loyalty Rewards app for Great Women Nourish, integrating now small women who have businesses at home who are cooking, uh, cafe owners that are, for example, like us, who are women-led also. So we're really looking at the uh, small enterprises and micro producers, including the farm producers who supply vegetables to be part of this app. It's an app, no? so it's a platform app that we'd like now um, women who own their businesses as well as men who actually uh, are 50% um, hiring women to be part of this so that all of us can help the woman's space. So if you're a small producer, if you work from home, there's a space for you here. And I think it's going to be um, something we'll be growing and building as part of great women. Right. And uh, Siguro Chit, uh, for strategy, you know, you might want to give some, uh, what are the out of the box or innovation that, I mean, I'm sure you have gone through a lot, no? Uh, meron nga pala ako itatanong sa inyo, kayong dalawa taga-UP, right? Oh. Taga-UP, dalawa, right? Yes. Meron daw, malalaman mo rin na taga-UP, dalawang bagay. Ano ba yung, kasi marami na ako na-interview yung taga-UP. Pero ang sabi, alam mo, Tanungin mo lang yung guest mo kung taga-UP talaga siya. Dalawa raw bagay. Ano yon Chit? Ano yung dalawang bagay? Baka oh. kung alam mo yung panatang makabayan. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah? Or, or <laughs> alam mo kung anong ikot. Yun. Yun. At, at, ano ikot at saka toki. Ano ano? Toki. Toki. Ikot. Eh, balik balik. Ang ikot kasi, uh, clockwise. Ang toki, counterclockwise. <laughs> yung, yung, yung biyahe ng jeep sa UP. Oo. Yun. Tsaka alam nyo yung ID number nyo, no? Yung UP ID. Yes, yeah, student ID number. Yun. Anong sabihin? Baka matrace ka pa. Kung ilan. Okay. Huwag <laughs> na. Anyway. Ano nga ang question? <laughs> ano yung tips? Yeah. Ako is, is never stop learning. Kasi alam mo, even in this pandemic, uh, you have to have the eyes of a child and sometimes you have to have the, the verb of a child. Like, minsan, for example, Zoom. Bago natin natutunan tong Zoom na to, tapos ngayon merong GoToMeetings, merong Google Meet, merong Microsoft Teams, may StreamYard. Tiba nakakatens? So, mag-practice, tiba? You can always learn something. Bakit yung mga bata, hindi sila natatakot na pindutin yan, pindutin, and then they learn. Mm -hmm. no? So, if we can have the eyes of a child diba, in learning all these new things, kasi we have to reskill. All of us have to reskill. Kahit na sobrang skilled ka na, you still need to reskill. There is always something new to learn. So, ako, I'm trying my best in uh, looking for these mga techy things, no? And trying my best to, to learn them because it's the new medium. If you cannot communicate, and this is the way to communicate now, I think mahihirapan tayo to deliver our message. Well, uh, you know, one thing that uh, probably we'll do is, uh, let me congratulate you because you ladies belong to, uh, you are the 32nd uh, episode done in since may 14 uh you know i really uh may 21 may 21 so again let me just uh, congratulate you kasi ang ganda ganda ng mga usapan dito and a lot of people are saying wow uh what else can we do and this is something i'd like to share uh sabi nga ng iba ano ba talaga ang buhay no and uh, this is something i'd like to uh i saw this uh and I think you did this. Uh, meron kayong ginawang uh, para bang, ano ba ito, ano ba itong ginawa ng Echo Store? Nakaka-touch, no? Ah, okay. Well, ano, um, nung lockdown, so all of us were, of course, lockdown at home, ECQ, MECQ, 
si Jeannie nag-drawing, nag-paint. The, both of them are visual artists, no? Rina and Jeannie. And she drew something and then she put it in Facebook and somebody bought it. And after she sold it, she gave the money to Rina and me <laughs> to cook in, in, uh, in the Echo Kitchen so that we could feed frontliners. So, nakadalawang drawing si Jeannie, but of course, mayaman naman si Jeannie, so nagbigay pa siya ng extra money. And then, when, when we posted it, a lot of people said, how about us? And then people will private message me like, shit, gusto ko, pero wag mo na ilagay sa Facebook. Ganon yung, some of them don't want to be identified. So, Rina and my niece, Ross, uh, got us into the frontline feeders, and we started making hospital meals uh, three times a week uh, in between what we had to do about the about work and the business and then Jeannie you know it started with her drawing uh, using her her talent tapos may bumili tapos dinagdagan pa niya she tapped it up and then people got wind of it and and people were saying how much does it take to feed people what can we give? Tapos yung mga ibang suppliers namin, nagbigay ng brown rice, Carlo Lorenzana, may mga nagbigay ng kung ano-ano, may nagbigay ng white rice, whatever could help. So, for us, it was very touching and, uh, you know, it was a very meaningful two months that we did uh, helping yung frontline feeders Philippines feed. I mean, they were in like 35 hospitals. We adopted only one hospital, but it was a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. Ako but, hindi marunong magluto but so ako yung tiga empake ng kanin but I learned how to pack rice very well I knew how much rice to cook di ba Rina tell them <laughs> si Rina market I think all basket. the cooking market basket depending what the donation was we create a meal out of it because there were different corporations giving vegetables or vinegar or soy sauce or you know, canned goods or frozen products. So we had to think of stuff to make into, you know, good food for the doctors or for the health workers in Makati. True. But you know, ladies, uh, you, you have been uh, like a catalyst. No? You, you steered uh, people. And uh, you, when you steered people's mind, they, you sort of create ripples. No? Parabang, you like you throw a pebble on a plane in a water and all of a sudden the ripple and I think that's what you are saying now. When you, when 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 uh, when people ask me, who is Jeannie, who is Rina, and who's Chit of Echo Store, you're the ones creating the ripple right now. And I think that's what your 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 task is. You no, know? although it took you twelve years, but you're making now uh, a big difference. You no, know? especially in branding and the brand promise. So again, uh, ladies, thank you very much. Uh, I know thank I you. have, uh, I have taken Our much pleasure. Thank Hello. you. Uh, maraming pang Zoom meeting yan. Uh, si Jeannie, ewan ko kung ano mga hahabi niya, yung mga textile na gagawin niya pang iba. At si Rina, probably cooking something. You know? uh, again, uh, let's all pray that we can all you know, survive this uh, crisis and that uh, the whole nation and the country and the world will also be moving Again, thank you very much on behalf of BUK and also Linda and myself. Really, you are great friends of ours. Thank you very much. Thank you to Linda. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you, BUK. Thanks, AOB. Bye, Mr. Green.